Hello there, everybody. Welcome to a new game just released on Steam called Break-In. Now, to summarize really quickly what this game is all about, you raid other people's bases to get money, which then, which you can then invest into your base to improve your defenses, increase you know the amount of cameras you have, your guards, and yeah. And so here we have the main menu with all of the options. We have a weapon store, which is pretty self-explanatory. You know, you can buy weapons here, as you might have guessed. Safe house store. This is where you choose, like, you buy the location of your safe house. And then you click on, this, say, the forest. It'll give a little description here. Blah, 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 blah. And then it gives you the price. Now, that's 125000 you can see your balance over here. I have about a little over 3k. That's not even close to enough. And then we have the hideout here. So, yes, we have that. Safe house store, equipment store, hacking devices, um, grants increased transfer rate while hacking. That is actually how you go in and steal money from players. There is a vault, which I will show you in a second here that you have to hack to pull money from their account and transfer it to yours. Light armor, you know, extra health, ammo pouch, all self-explanatory. Bolt cutters allow you to cut through fences that the players have built. Now when I say players have built, it's be everything is in set places, and here is my upgrade screen for my safe house. All the upgrades here are on the left with their attached prices right there. Um, you're free to move the vault between the different locations freely. Um, so here we go. You'll be approaching from this side. This is where you come in, like off the screen down here. And this gives a little layout of your base. And yeah, um, you can buy extra like bars for the window so people just can't shoot them out and jump through. Um, different exterior fences, adding cameras to your doors that uh, makes it a little harder for them to sneak in. And, you know, just stuff like that. Nothing too horribly fancy yet. It is just now on Steam. It was just recently greenlighted, and the first available version is now on Steam. It is, however, quite a nice game. I do recommend it. I don't know how much it is. It's either 8 or $10 on the store. Um, I'll link the store page in the description at the end of this video. So, don't worry about that. And then, you have an intruder log. You click on this, it will give you a list of all successful attacks and unsuccessful attacks. And the amount that you lost or the amount that you gained. Because if someone attacks you and they die, if your guards kill them, you will get a portion of their total funds. And so, see, I really haven't been raiding much. But, uh, I've made money from failed attempts. So, that works out quite nicely, but let's go ahead and hit this button here, the attack button. Now what happens when you hit this is it'll just pull up a target, and you can choose either a random target, and it'll just pick one of the people that play this game, it'll display their base, excuse me, and it'll give you their balance so you can tell like, oh this guy's loaded, let's, uh, let's rob him, and oh this guy doesn't have a whole lot of money. So let's avoid him. But I'm actually going to hit Derpy Chair. And you also have the option of hitting high value target and it'll pick someone with a lot of money. Like, let's click on this. Alright, so this guy has 434k. You can also target by name and you can type in the name of your target if you know. Or say you get the name off of someone that robbed you blind from your intruder log and you want revenge, type their name in here. Set as target. There you go. I want to hit random target again. Funky Monkey! Actually, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let's find him. Oh, uh, whatever. I'll just uh, hit random one more time and go for it. Alright, two socks! Alright, and then you hit attack. Loading. Alright, here we are. We got spawned in. This guy has the, uh, the starting base. Top left shows you the amount of money that you've currently stolen. Bottom left shows you your health. And yeah, there's a safe house up there. I see a guard over there. I don't think there's cameras. Let's get a little closer and see. Oh yeah, there's a camera. 
so I'm just going to stay low, I'm going to creep around the side, I'm just going to get my pistol ready just in case. Now I don't have a silenced pistol, so uh, if I fire the guards will know I'm there. If you have a silenced pistol that really helps uh, for you to sneak in. And dang it, this guy has fences so I can't just slip around the side. Oh shit, that's a camera. When it turns the other way I'm going to move up to this tree. Or I'll just run all the way over here. Fuck yeah! Oh, another nice thing I, that I really like about this game is you hit Q and E and you can lean left and right. And I can't lean left right now because the fence is in the way, but I can lean right as much as I want. Let's see if the guard is looking this way. Will I be able to slip in this window? Oh shit, he's coming over here. He's coming over here, man! Fuck it. Go loud! Oh, he's got bars in the windows anyway. Oh no! I'm too young! I'm too young! Alright, so when you get inside, you have to pick which door you can- it's just kind of a- A guess to see- I'm gonna die. I'm doing horrible. It's just kind of a guess to see which vault- like, which room the vault is in. When you just pick it, you hit F on the button, and that timer up there will show how long you have to hold out until the, uh, the door opens. And I don't think I'm actually going to succeed in this. I kind of screwed that one up. But assuming that this door opens and the vault is in there, when I say vault, it is a computer on a desk or a table, and you walk up to it and you hit F. You have to stand next to it and you can't really move away from it, and you just stand there and collect money as it gets stolen. But, yeah, since he has the bars in the windows, I can't really make an easy escape. I'm just gonna hold my ground, see what happens. I should be playing Tom Petty in the background. No, wow. Wow. Oh, there's a car coming. Reinforcements are on the way. They'll pop out of that car and start heading this way. Come at me, bruh. Bring it. Yeah, there they are. They're right there. <clears throat> How long we got? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold them off. Shit! No! No! I'm too young! I'm too young! No! Alright. So, failure. Bad luck. You died and gave your target. And I think it's 10% of your total money if you die. So that's too bad. But, we're going to attack again. Um, I'm not going to attack him. Let's see who else we got. I have a couple of people in mind, but I don't know their in-game name. I'm looking for Lord Fury. Actually, target by name. Let's see if he is in there as that. No player found. Ah, uh, maybe there's no space. I really want to find him. I really, really want to find him. Or maybe it's an underscore. Ha <laughs> ha! I found him! <laughs> Alright, let's attack him. My ear's itchy. Excuse me. Alright, now I have to... Oh, he has bars in his windows, too. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Does he have a camera? He does. He does. Fuck it! Alright, so... The plan, as it is right now, we'll see if I decide to just screw it. I'm, I'm going to try to slip into the door undetected. The camera has to be looking the opposite way, and the guard has to be facing the opposite way. A lot of things have to happen for this to work. We'll see what actually happens. I'd be kind of surprised if it works. Go, 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 <laughs> I just I'm not done with you, Lord Fury. Actually, I want to find someone that doesn't have the bars in the windows. <laughs> um, he doesn't have a lot of money. Maybe he doesn't have bars or fences. He does. For freedom! I like the detail. I like the little like things in the ground. F you! I don't like you. Oh shit, there's a guy there. I'm reloading! There we go. I'm just gonna pick this door. 
and this three minute timer is that three minutes yeah three minute timer and now the waiting game begins but yeah overall this it doesn't look too bad I mean I wouldn't say that this game has top of the line graphics or anything but it's um, halfway decent it's quite a bit of fun um, I actually have I haven't played this game a whole lot yet. I think I have a couple of hours under my belt. But no, I definitely do recommend this. It is worth the price tag. And I will tell you this. The developer works his ass off on this game. This is, um... This is his life. Oh, well, I don't know about that. But he works on it a ton. A ton, a ton, a ton. And yeah, this, this game will be going places. And if you buy this now for a relatively cheap price, you won't be disappointed. Again, I will put in the description a, um, what am I trying to say? In the description, I'm gonna have a fancy smancy uh, link for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe an annotation. We'll see. Cover, 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 cover. Oh, back door. I hate all of you equally. Fuck you. No. I, I take it back. You're a wonderful person. You're a wonderful person! No! No! Okay, 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 alright. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's more! There's more! There's more! I'm so sorry. I, I really need, like, the ammo pack. I'm so fucked, though. Yeah, I'm fucked. 60 seconds. Don't shoot me! I'm too young! No, don't do it! I know you want to shoot me, but let's let's think this through logically. Like, I'll pay you. I'll pay you monies to not kill me. <laughs> they didn't listen. <laughs> they did not listen. Man, I guess I suck at this game. But that is basically that. Um, pretty straightforward concept. Again, you attack other players that have it, you take their money, you invest that money into your base to make it harder for people to steal your stuff. And yeah, we're gonna see where this goes in the development, but it is pretty awesome and completely random, but I like how there's a coffee stain on this paper on the left. Nice touch. Great job, CK. But, uh, while this video is quite short, it's just about the 13 minute mark, I think that is sufficient for the very first video in this series. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends. I'm telling you to do a whole bunch of things, and I'm talking really fast. You're probably not even going to do anything that I say, but until next time, this is Ryan from Strong Bully Game, signing off.